Hi, this is Asing. Today I would like to share how to define array and use it to store data and perform calculation. Okay, if let's say these are the data that I'm going to store, so we, what we have to do, go to the developer tab, look for Visual Basic. Okay, this is sheet one, so I'm going to use sheet one. Then we give a name to this micro. Okay, so I will put array calculation so first we have to do is define the arrays so we have two type one is for the rate and one is for the names so we just define using the dimension theme theme r okay to, to indicate the rate so rate all together we have 12 here and then fix as the row one so it means uh, the row is already fixed we just have column so we don't have to use in terms of the coordinate x and y we just use it as a vector so 1 2 12 in total okay as the type of the data okay for the type we have to see the storage size okay but usually i will use variant okay this will seldom result in error so i prefer to use variant okay then we go to the name for the name also define using the team name okay this is we have all together five rows so one two five okay then the y coordinate the columns all together 12 so 1 2 12 also use period okay now we can start to store so for the storage we can move from column then followed by row or we can move from row then followed by the columns okay both also can okay it's bookable so for j from 1 to 12 okay this is column then i will store the rate okay r j is equal to shade one dot cells the first row is already fixed so one but then the column is starting from b to m so it means that starting from the second row okay but we start from we divide from one so we have to put j plus one okay then we will start from the second okay if let's say we want to store the name at the same time but the name involves both the row and the columns so column already defined here so for the rows we just put it from one to five okay for i equal to for i equal to one two five okay then for the name okay name because we involve the columns and the row so we have to put i and j at, at the same time so it's equivalent to the shade one dot cells okay as we can see here in the row starting from the third so it means that we have to take i plus two okay start from the third one plus two is equal to three then for the column is j plus one also from the second column so we have to plus one here okay so meaning to say we will start from j equal to 1 when j is equal to 1 the first column is here so we will store this number then we store this number after that as we can see we use another nested for loop here means that when j is equal to 1 we will perform i storage for all together five times so it means that 1 1 1 2 4 Five, four, four, then to the next, and so on. After finish the first column, then we move to the second column. Means that when we done I, then we move to the next J, which is two. So next I. Then after that, 
already done we go to the next uh, chair so we already store all the information if let's say we want to perform any calculation after the storage or after somewhere okay so what we have to do we just okay define okay let's say we want to put the total okay we want the values time the rate okay respective rate so what we have to do we just put okay define okay t one two five all together we just have five of them okay as fee rate okay so we just perform the calculation okay so for okay we have to take times after that we plus then we times we plus we times we plus okay and so on so we will move from the means that we will done the column first okay we done the column first means that we already sum all the values then only we go to the next okay so means that we have to start from i equal to one two one two five okay so we have to make sure we done the column first equal to one two twelve okay the next step follow we will done the one inner face and before we go to the outer one so we have okay t i is equal to okay what we're going to do here is we take the okay let's say we take 111 times 0 0.68 we obtain a value then we plus the value that we times together so it means that we have to plus the previous multiplication so we just take the previous calculation okay plus with the previous multiplication times the rate the rate is in columns so we use j here then after we already done okay we have to make sure we move to the next column okay multiply then we move to the next column multiply then we move to the next column multiply then we move to the next column after we have done for the first person then we move to the second person then we will go to the second row then next i so all the calculation already done so let's say we want to print the values so we can move from from i equal to one two five so we want to print it under the total so we just put sheet one dot cells okay so it's i plus okay start from this third column so we have the plus two and it's fixed okay at the column and okay so it's equivalent to the total value i so after we done then we move to the next i okay let's see the result so we already first we store okay let's say we don't want to have so many for loops here we can just okay insert the total or the print okay at the same time okay after the j okay after the next j okay then we just run so as we can see the total already done over here okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you